Hi YouTube, Voluptuous8 here again. I uh, just thought I would do that tag uh, video <laughs> that we talked about, but I'll give the stats again in case you didn't get them the first time. I am 10 weeks out. My surgery was August 19th, 2016. I had VSG surgery, <coughs> excuse me, with Dr. Moses Shea of Surgical Healing Arts in Florida. My high weight was 255, my surgery weight was 249, and I am currently 213.4. I am 51 years old, and I am 5'5". Five five. So, there's the quick stats. Uh, the tag video that I'm going to do is the TMI tag, and I do have notes, so I will be looking down quite a bit during this. Um, there we go with the ums. <laughs> during this video. I don't have all the questions in the same order because I went through them on one video and realized I only had 44 questions and it's supposed to be 50 so I watched another person's video and got the rest of them so they're not quite in order uh, so here we go one what are you wearing I am wearing a tank capris and no shoes because I'm home and I am a barefoot queen per se. Uh, two, have you ever been in love? Yes, I love my husband dearly. I have been married four times, three times divorced, so uh, this one's a keeper. <laughs> We've been together since 2001, got married in 02, so yeah, I'm in love. Head over heels. Uh, three, terrible breakup. Yes, my second divorce was god awful. Uh, four, height, five five. I mentioned that in my my stats. Tattoos. Yes, I have quite a few. I have faith here on my arm. On this ankle, I have cat eyes, which are hard to see. I have a tramp stamp that is my husband's name. I have this tattoo, which my husband also has, which is agape, which means unconditional love. His tattoo is in the same place as mine. And then on this shoulder, uh, which you really can't see, but I have a conglomeration. I have two butterflies, small butterflies, which represent my two children. I have a bumblebee, which represents my oldest grandson. I have two dragonflies that are opposite wings and body colors which represent my twin grandsons I have a ladybug which represents my granddaughter I am going to the tattoo parlor and getting a little ant which represents my newest grandson and then there are flowers swirled all the way around in all of them that represent my anniversaries with my husband so uh, I have jokingly said that when I die, nobody needs to bring flowers. I'll have a full back of my own and just plant me face down. So, <laughs> but, so that's the tattoos. Uh, oh, and I have Jesus Christ as my savior on the back of my neck. So piercings, yes, I have four holes in each ear. I would like to get my nose pierced with just a little speck of a stud but because of my allergies and stuff I've been kind of afraid to do that OTP I'm 51 years old I'm not a geek I have no idea what that means so I have no answer favorite show I don't really have a favorite show my husband and I watch a lot of shows and if I catch wind of a show I will binge watch it on Netflix so I don't really have a favorite so right now we're watching the blacklist we watch designated survivor we watch um, the voice we watch NCIS we watch um, I watch Grey's Anatomy I watch Vampire Diaries I don't know there's a bunch of them that we watch so favorite bands I don't really have a favorite band Styx was my favorite band growing up it was the first concert I ever went to go see uh, I like all genres of movies I mean all genres of music so uh, I really don't have an ultimate favorite 
a uh, favorite song that kind of goes along with not a favorite band I listen to everything on my car in the car uh, country rap R&B blues even classic uh, Mannheim steamrollers we listen to I mean we just listen to all genres my husband uh, is a DJ on the side so music is just a way of filling space I guess in our household so um, age 51 which I also said uh, zodiac sign Libra I'm pretty balanced huh. yeah sure <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll go with that um, quote favorite quote I have a couple of them written down because when I first thought about it I couldn't think of any and then I have a book that is a calendar that has a number of different quotes that I really like and I've really tried since my surgery to look at positive type quotes so uh, here's a couple that I I really kind of have liked two ways to live one is through the one is as though nothing is a miracle the other is as everything is a miracle um, another one is your present circumstances don't determine where you can go they really determine where you start um, another one is what if I fall but oh what but oh my darling what if you fly um, and then the last one that I have written down is difficult roads often lead to beautiful destinations so not everything is always easy but it doesn't mean that you won't come out the other side uh, on on the good end just like a beautiful rose has thorns so um, favorite actor this is a hard one because I think it determines it depends on the man and the role uh, I like Patrick Swayze uh, I like uh, um, oh my goodness Morgan Freeman I like George Clooney I like I mean it, it all depends on what role they're playing and really kind of how they're being because if an actor in I guess whatever celebrity news or whatever is really being an ass that can really kind of turn me off on whether or not I really like them or not but for the most part, um, I don't know. I, I guess maybe not a, a favorite. Favorite color, pink, but also purple. When I was growing up, I had a lavender room with dark purple accents. Uh, so I, I, it's a toss up. I am really, I do a lot of pink now, but I my second color would definitely be purple. Loud or soft music, depends on the mood. Uh, I can like the loud stuff, but I also like the soft stuff. I guess I'm maybe, maybe a middle grade person. Um, where do I go when I'm sad? I go to bed. Um, how long does it take to shower? No hair, no shaving, 10 minutes. With hair, 30. With hair and shaving, probably 50. So <laughs> maybe as I lose the weight those numbers will go down because it won't take me as long to shave my legs so how long does it take me to get ready in the morning if we're not counting the shower and all of that 30 minutes physical fight yes when I was back in high school so uh, turn-ons biceps dimples and a cute butt and my husband has all three <laughs> plus a beautiful attitude and um, he he's just wonderful turn offs guys who think that they're just better I I really a guy who has an attitude that he his excuse the the bluntness but that his shit don't stink um, yeah he needs to recheck himself so um, reasons you joined YouTube basically I would have to say because of the weight loss community uh, on YouTube that's why I'm here and that's why I'm doing this um, fears heights 
I'm terrified. I can get up on a two foot step stool and my knees will shake. Uh, last thing that made you cry was probably a Facebook video. Uh, and it doesn't have to be tears of sadness. It could have been tears of joy. I, for whatever reason, I kind of get uh, teary eyed on some of the videos there. Meaning behind my YouTube name, Voluptuous8. I kind of said this when I first started my channel. My son was probably, I don't know, he was under 12, uh, somewhere probably between 8 and 10. And I made a comment about being fat. And he said, Mom, you're not fat, you're voluptuous. And that kind of has always stuck with me. Where a kid his age learned the word voluptuous, I don't know. Um, and eight, I don't know. It just came out, it was like, it just went with voluptuous. So, and I later added the VSG at the end of it so that if people were looking for VSG, um, type videos, they would be able to find me in that. Uh, last book I read. Can't remember the title, but it was a vampire book. Current book I'm reading. Don't know the title, but it's Laurel K. Hamilton's newest book. Uh, last show I watched. My husband and I, when I wrote this list, it was Lucifer, but my husband and I just finished watching Designated Survivor, so that's the last one. Last person I talked to, would be my hubby. Last uh, relationship of the person that I last test, text, uh, that would be a fellow sleever. Uh, she had her surgery a week ago this past Friday and I've kind of been keeping tabs on her just to make sure uh, she's okay and all of that. Uh, favorite food, pizza or hot wings? Yep. And I have figured out a way to make pizza. I make uh, wonton pizza. So I still am going to be able to enjoy that. Uh, I will do a video maybe on the making of wonton pizza. So it's quick and easy and you can do wonton tacos, you can do wonton cheeseburgers, you can do all kinds of things with wonton. So maybe we'll just have a wonton show. <laughs> um, place I want to visit, California. I've been as far as Colorado and I've been as far as Arizona. I've almost been to all of the 50 states. The little handle up there with Maine and New Hampshire and all that I haven't been to. And then that crest right along the side I haven't been to. So, but w my husband has family in California and I would like us to go out and visit there. The last place I was, here locally was Estero. Uh, we uh, went down there to meet with some clients. My husband has a wedding uh, this Friday and we went down to meet with the bride and groom, which is only about an hour away. Uh, last place I went on vacation was in May and we went to Tennessee to visit my daughter and my son and we were also up in some cabins in South Carolina for a family reunion type event with my husband's family. Uh, last time I was insulted. I would have to say in May there was an incident at work uh, involving a woman, which is one of the reasons why I'm looking for a new job. And with what happened, I, it was a major insult. Not on me as like a visual or anything like that, but on me as uh, just not a good situation. Uh, favorite sweet flavor would be chocolate. Uh, instruments, I play none. Will never ever probably learn. I'm not that patient. Favorite piece of jewelry would be my wedding band. Um, but of course my husband has flattered me with other pieces of jewelry. These were my birthday presents, my little Pandora necklaces. Uh, I have Pandora earrings. I have a couple of Pandora bracelets and all of that. I have some gold ones that he's given me, but typically the, and both of these rings besides my wedding band were given to me from him and they are basically my favorite and I wear them 
those don't come off. The other stuff can come off. So, um, last sport I played, been too long to know, but probably bowling. Uh, last song I sang, whatever was on the radio when we were driving home. I don't remember. I know Adele was on, Maroon 5 was on, there was a number of other things on. Uh, but don't remember what the song was. Favorite chat up line? Don't have one. Haven't had one. I've been married 14 years. Mm. And we were together for a year before that. Mm. None. Uh, ever use it? No, because I didn't have one. Uh, last time I hung out with somebody or with someone, well, today, I hung out with my hubby. We went down and had lunch and met with the people and did a little bit of shopping. I shared my Victoria's Secrets uh, pants and stuff earlier uh, in an earlier video, so we did that. Uh, last weekend we hung out with a couple that is a friend of ours and we went to dinner at a restaurant called Cheddar's and then we went and saw um, Jack Reacher and that was good we hung out and had some fun with them so um, who should answer these questions anybody who feels the desire to do so uh, it's kind of an interesting process to go through to think about some of these things and I actually have two other lists to do and some of the questions are the same so I'll still answer them real quick but uh, I, I'm still gonna do those other two lists because there are some questions that are different uh, how much do I weigh? I said it in my stats. As of this morning, I was 213.4. Yay! I'm hoping to be, that's a little over 41 pounds down. I'm hoping to be 42 pounds down by the time I go to my surgeon's office on Thursday. Something I miss. I miss my grandmother. Uh, actually, both of my grandmothers. Uh, they have been gone for quite a few years, but... I still every once well not every once in a while but quite frequently think about them uh, if we're look thinking about weight loss community and and the challenges with my surgery I have I I have had moments in the last couple of weeks where I have missed soda and I think it's just the bubbles that I am missing it's not necessarily the taste but it's the bubbles because water and everything you drink just seems flat. So I think really it's the bubbles that I'm missing. Um, these are some of the questions that are out of order of what they are on other people's videos. Quality in a partner. Um, trust, uh, loyalty, honesty, assurance. Uh, my husband's my best friend. I have no doubts in my mind uh, that he will be there for me and I hope I instill in him the same. Uh, so I just, I think that uh, open communication and all of that. So last time you said you loved someone, I tell my husband multiple times a day that uh, I that <clears throat> I love him we got home from uh, being down in in Estero and I was taking the sheets out of the dryer and he came in and, and went to help me uh, put them on the beds and then I came back to put the laundry in from the washing machine to the dryer and he came up behind me and one of the questions on here was last time you kissed somebody and he kissed me you know at that point in time and of course I said I love you and he said I love you back so and do you have a crush my ultimate long-standing crush would have to be mr. George Strait. that man is a fine man and I have told my husband that if mr. Strait ever decided he wanted to knock on my door that it would really be a tough decision. But Mr. Strait, I believe, is a happily married man and stands and has a lot of the qualities that I think um, a man should have, especially since he's been a celebrity and a megastar and all of that, and the fact that him and his wife have been married so long. 
Um, yeah, and that's probably one of the attractions that I have for him, but he is a good looking man. <laughs> so those are the 50 questions. I think I hit them all. I don't think that uh, I missed any of them. And uh, sorry if I'm looking down, but uh, I will, this minute, this video is 20 minutes, so I've got to go. So, ciao. Talk to you later. Love you guys. Please subscribe. I want to do a 50 subscription giveaway. So, please send people my way and tell them to subscribe to my channel. <laughs> I have something really cool to give away. So, thanks guys. Have a good night, good evening, good morning, good afternoon, whenever you're watching this. Love you, and we will see you on the next one. Bye.